Hey guys, it's the Kurgan bringing you another pretty basic text tutorial. Um, today I'm going to show you how to make glittery text. Now there's two different ways you can do this. I personally prefer the way I found out on my own. This is the way I have seen in quite a few other tutorials. I've seen other people do it. So I'm going to go ahead and show you this way. Go ahead, choose a color, make your font, whatever. Call it, I guess my cap box is on. Call it glitter. Make sure you can see it. You can pretty much add whatever blending options you want. I'm going to bevel and boss it, and I'm gonna add a stroke. About there. Of oh, just about three pixels here. That's all I'm gonna do with this. Right now you're gonna wanna rasterize the type and duplicate this layer three times. All right, on your first layer, go ahead to filter, noise, and add noise. We're going to start at 20 and add five for every layer. So go ahead and put 20%, make sure monochromatic is chosen, and make sure it's on uniform. Go ahead and press okay. Just go ahead and repeat the step for this one. Add 5%, okay. Filter, noise, 30, and 35. All right, come on back down to your first one. You're gonna wanna have your animation frame open. To do this, just go to Window, Animation. Go ahead and uh, duplicate the layer three times. On your first one, I forgot to change the time. Of course, I always do. Go ahead and put it on 0 0.2. On your first one, go ahead and deselect these other three layers. Make sure only your first layer is chosen with your first frame. And second frame, deselect that. Select the second one. Pretty much match your frames with your layers. Make sure only the layer is chosen for that frame. Go ahead and press play. As you can see, it kind of gets to the end and just stops. It's not very flattering when it gets to the end there. So let's go ahead and stop. We're going to add, <coughs> sorry, two more layers. On this one, we're going to have the third layer right here match with this. And on this one, we're only going to have the second one. You could add another layer and match it with the first one. It pretty much goes one to four and then four to one. But if you do this, you see when it gets to the end, it kind of stops for a second. So I personally don't like adding that last layer. And if you have it this way, it's just continuous. It doesn't pause or anything. It just keeps on going. So I personally like it this way. This is just the simple way that I've seen other people do it. Um, I personally do not like this way. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. I will show you the way that I found out. Whether or not anyone has done it this way, I don't have a clue. But this is the way I do it. And I personally like it a lot better. Alright, go ahead, do whatever blending options you want. Doesn't really matter. Alright, for this, you're going to want to have a space stock. I already have one. As soon as I can find it. It really doesn't matter what space stock you have. I would have a pretty decent quality one. Go ahead and take this, drag it on there, resize it if you need to, make sure it at least covers your text, and create a clipping mask. If you have a black 
background like this, you'll want to set it to linear dodge. So it gets rid of the black and it just leaves the little sparkles. And what you're going to do with this is pretty much you're going to alrighty, you're going to drag the image up to where you see where it ends right here. You don't want that. You're going to want the bottom of the image to touch the bottom of the text. Alrighty. And come down here. And duplicate this frame. And now with this image you're going to want to drag it down to where the top of the image touches the top of the text. See where it's cutting off there? You don't want that. You want it to go to the top of the text only. Alright. Now, change your time before you do anything else. Now you're going to tween. I would add, let's try 15 layers. Make sure you go with your previous frame. And let's press play and see what we get. It doesn't exactly glitter like the other one, but I think it's, it's a different take on the glitter effect. It's honestly whatever you want it to be. You can have the other way, you can do it this way. This just adds a little bit more sparkle to it, I guess you could say. It doesn't exactly flash frames or anything, it just kind of goes... keeps scrolling down, but it really depends on what you prefer. These are just both really easy ways to do sort of a glitter effect. To save, you're going to want to save for web and devices. Make sure it's set on forever, especially the glitter, because if you just have it once, it really doesn't look very good. It glitters and then stops, and you don't really want that. So go ahead and make sure it's set on forever. Save. Title it whatever you want. Leave format and settings alone. I don't want to save that. Make sure you're also saving as a Photoshop document so you can edit it in the future. If you do not save this as a Photoshop doc wow, sorry, a Photoshop document, you will not be able to edit it and you will have to do it all over again. So like I said, this is just real two basic ways to do a glittery text. I really hope this helps someone. Thank you for watching.